my channel, Milan Garcon. I am your girl, Milan Garcon. <laughs> Welcome back to another Moan Shot Monday. That is not on a Monday. Y'all know I have been posting a lot on the channel and it has not all been able to be posted on a Monday. And I haven't been doing my Moan Shot on Mondays every single week. So I want to get back to doing it on Mondays. That way I can ensure that I have a clip for you all. Um... But as for like this week, it's technically Wednesday, but I'm going to go ahead and post this on a Wednesday. Still going to call it Monja Monday because why wouldn't I? But um, it's just been a very, very, very trying year for me. I've had some really high ups and some really low lows. And now I feel like I'm just kind of like coasting in this space of like learning a lot of lessons as I move into my next and as far as like career goals, um, self, <laughs> and, like, dating, because dating's been a thing for, like, the past two years in my life, again, very non-intentional, but, yeah, it's, and that's that. Also, just, like, you know, my mom doesn't live in Cleveland anymore, so that's been, like, a lot to kind of deal with, because what felt like home for so long now is kind of, like, missing my main part of, like, home. So I'm like dealing with like that. I live in a big city. I'm from the Midwest. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. I live in New York. And I just kind of feel like, oh wow, like my childhood home is so like so when I go home, I'm gonna stay in a hotel when I got like when I go home. Like, no, I can stay with my dad, but like it just kind of feels like my anchor to this world has kind of like shifted and my mom has a lot going on in her life right now, and I love it for her. Like, I've been wanting her to get out of Cleveland for so long. She's always wanted us to move um, to where she lives now. I'm not going to tell y'all. She can tell y'all that if she want to tell y'all. I just feel very unbalanced. I feel very, like, in the wind, if that makes sense. Why is this pulling up air bubbles? No, that's weird. Uh, don't do that. We don't want bubbles. I'm just kind of, like, in this, like active depression I don't know what to call it <laughs> it's like I'm depressed but I'm like being very active by active I mean like overly partying and not really sleeping well like I'm surviving but like barely you know it's just been a very difficult year like I really just can't express that enough but all right let's do this moan shot and let's just kind of talk about what I'm currently doing and dealing with. I mean, I've been applying for jobs left and right. Of course, the job market sucks. I'm also working to really consistently post on my social media platforms. That way, those can go back to being lucrative um, sources of income for me. So that's been, you know, not, not necessarily a challenge, but definitely something that I'm working on, taking up some of my time, which is why we're doing this here. And, and definitely, like, sharing my story and why it's so important for, like, trans people to, like, share their stories, period. So, let's do it. Is this thing on? Is it in there? It's in there. Uh-oh. There we go. And just like that, we are done. I really was procrastinating doing my hormone shot. I hate when I do that because it basically means that, like, I'm so depressed that I kind of just don't even want to take care of myself, which sucks. Yeah, y'all, I am just, like, kind of just swaying in the wind, I feel like. I know something's going to come. Things always come to me when I least expect it, whether it's a job opportunity, whether it's just the most amazing news that I've heard in a long time, or whether it's just, like, a super dope life change or something that really puts me on to my next. So I'm really excited. Today was just a day, but that's because I feel like there's someone that I've been talking to and I don't necessarily think that it's probably the healthiest situation because since I've been talking to this person, it's only been good vibes when I'm around them or like actually talking to them when I'm not. I'm like going back into that like attachment phase where it's like, whoa, too much. And then also the amount of situations that have happened since I've met this person that have made me not feel good or great outweigh the ones well they like are very close in like 
the good and the bads. Like, it's not way more good than, like, we've only known each other for probably a month and a half. So, I'm just, like, it's probably good that I feel the way I feel about it now. Um, I just feel like I have to take a step back from everything, everybody, relax, take some time for me again, but actual real time. And I have one trip coming up. Um, I'm booked to do two or three things in Atlanta. When the flyers come out, I will let you all know because the video is going to come out today. So, and I'm also hosting a party the week I leave for Atlanta. So, you know, I got some stuff coming up that's going to be pretty exciting and whatnot, but I'm, I'm, I'm really ready to be like consistently just doing my motherfucking thing and feeling good at all times like whether I'm going to sleep whether I'm waking up whether I'm working whether I'm out having fun whether I'm going on a walk like I just really want to get my mental space way healthier and kind of re reapply some of those boundaries that I think I have diminished over time and then really 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 focus on like what my next steps are in my transition and what that means for me I know some things that I want to do next year and it is already the eighth month of the year which means we got four months left which means things that I want to happen at certain points in the first or second quarter of next year kind of have to start getting worked on now name change is still going the judge has not seen or the courts have not necessarily um said that they have, you know, seen my name change petition and that they're working on it or that it is being viewed or reviewed or whatever. We're still waiting on that. My lawyer just messaged me last week. So I'll probably hear back from her, you know, weekly until things change. And, you know, this show really gets on the road. I think that'll really, really, really help me when it comes to like my transition, when it comes to like working in my field even like down to filling out a W-9, like, oh my God, like just being able to put my name on it and not have to do the two different ones and then job applications, you have all of these extras and sideline things that just kind of sometimes get you caught up in the bucket of no callbacks. So hopefully everything just starts to come together. I'm still being positive. I'm still journaling. I'm still reading, you know, my self-help book every day that I read every so often, every so many years, I revisit it. And just really reevaluating kind of everything that I'm doing and figuring out what I need to moderate and where I need to really step it up in my life. So I hope everybody has a productive and positive rest of the year and just feels good. Like it just sucks to not feel good. So try and do whatever you got to do, whether it's cut people out of your life or add people in your life or focus on certain things or maybe you need to better the way you do things in your life. Like whatever it is, just attack that shit because it's time. Next month, I'll be 30, and I'm really excited for it, but, like, scared shitless, can't, can't lie. But, all right, y'all, I will talk to y'all later, and it's been real, and it's been fun, but it ain't been real fun. Stay safe, stay dangerous, and I have to catch you on the next one.